At this protest at a police station in Moscow, well below freezing, a travesty of Russian justice collided with farce. Give him his underpants, shouted this Navalny supporter outside. Nerve agent was applied to Mr. Navalny's underwear last August, and yet he, and not his attackers, was under arrest inside. Alexei Navalny, the ringmaster of his own circus, broadcast the drama to his millions of social media followers. He was sentenced to 30 days jail before another hearing about supposedly violating his probation. The excuse of being off sick with Novichok poisoning doesn't wash with Vladimir Putin. It looks like the old man in his bunker is so scared of everything that the criminal procedure code has been blatantly torn up and thrown into the garbage. This is the highest degree of lawlessness. It was last August that Mr. Navalny was taken ill on a plane with labs in three countries later concluding he'd been attacked with nerve agent. He and his wife, Yulia, knew he would be arrested upon his return last night. Yet he also knew he had no credibility in exile and could pose no real threat to President Putin from foreign soil. Though he has helped identify the Russian secret service men accused by investigative journalists of trying to kill him. Constantine speaking to one of them who confessed to the poisoned underwear plot. News broadcasters ignored today's hearing, apart from this daytime crime show, which announced that Navalny had it coming, and that his fleet of cars in Berlin showed he was being bankrolled by Western spies. Navalny himself wants more sanctions on Moscow, as he told the European Parliament in November. European Union should target the money and Russian oligarchs, not just old oligarchs, but also new ones like uh, this uh, circle of uh, uh, Mr. Putin. The UK's leading campaigner against human rights abuses in Russia believes more sanctions are coming. Everybody knows about him. They know what Putin tried to do to him. And because of that, I think it, it elevates this to a whole different level of seriousness for Putin. And I would predict very, very serious real consequences, real sanctions. The only way to get Putin is to go after his money. He doesn't hold the money in his own name. He holds it in the name of others, oligarchs surrounding him. And those are the people who need to be targeted. Tonight, Navalny told his supporters that they should take to the streets, with protests planned for Saturday. He could be in prison on trumped-up charges for years. There is nothing to fear but fear itself, were his last words, quoting President Roosevelt at his inauguration, and no doubt hoping that President Biden and his allies will do more than listen.